Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Trail Talk. We are so glad you could join us today. Uh, we're very excited to be coming to you live from our featured artist gallery, I guess is what we call it, here at the Chisholm Trail Heritage Center in Duncan, Oklahoma. And this month, our featured artists are youth artists. Uh, we've invited you, uh, art students from all around the area to bring their art here for a display. And we're actually judging. We're going to have like a art, it's like a contest. And um, anyway, it's really fun. They'll be here for the whole month of March. So be sure and come by and see some of these um, budding artists and some of their creations that it will blow your mind. And we have a lot. <laughs> we do we have, have a ton fun. of our, I mean, this, this place, it's great. There's so much for you to see. Um, I want to introduce you to my guest today. So this is Emma. I'm going to cheat and look, this is Emma Wilson and uh, Lydia Parrish. They are students at a school that's called Fame Academy. This is Elizabeth Russell. She's what did, what's your job there at Fame? She's the director of Fame, and she'll tell us a little bit about that in a minute. And then this is Glenna Pace, and Glenna is an artist in her own right, and also the art teacher at Fame. And yeah, you probably figured it out already. Fame brought a lot of art to our Youth Art Month emphasis, so you'll want to come and see their pieces for sure. So um, first of all. Tell us about FAME, Elizabeth. What, what is FAME? FAME is great. It's one of the greatest schools um, that I think that we have in our county. And we're a co-op school, so we're Comanche Public Schools, but we also have students that come from Eureka, Bryan, Walters, and Velma. Okay. So they all get bus there. Um, we're an alternative school, and we have about 60 students. Take, give or take a little bit. And an alternative student is not what everyone always thinks. Sometimes people have, you know, a, a bad image of what they, an alternative they, they make it a negative, negative idea. And it is it's not. I look at our students here. Mm -hmm. um, we have students for all different reasons. Very, very few, if, if any, are there for any type of discipline problem. The pandemic has changed our demographics, and um, the, demo, uh, the pandemic wasn't really kind to a lot of students. Right. It, it's been a tough time. Right. And so we have students who have got a little bit behind uh, and they, they need to be caught up and online school was not always very easy for them. So it's kind of, a, it's a non-traditional non setting for those students who um, just have a hard time working in that traditional, traditional school way. environment. Because our students work in their room. own pace. We're, you know, yeah. a lot of people, when they walk in our building, think we're an art school. We have art everywhere. Fame won the Governor's Art Award um, a few years ago, and I think we're probably one of the only alternative schools that have won that award. And we went up to the Capitol and received that from the governor. Wow, um, that's, that's pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. Yeah. And it's because of our art, and it's also because of Ms. Pace. She's an amazing, amazing art teacher. Uh -huh. And uh, our art is funded through the Oklahoma Arts Council. Um, Comanche Public Schools and our co-op put up some money for the supplies a little bit, but most of it is paid. Uh, we are very, very fortunate that the Oklahoma Arts Council funds projects like this. So that pays for Ms. Pace's salary, and we also have a grant that we got, uh, they call it a supply grant, and that gave us $500 worth of supplies. Wow, because that, you know, because supplies, the clay, the paint, oh, glaze, paper, right. all of that, is the, the mosaic pieces are not cheap. Which is why a, a traditional school setting probably wouldn't have these kinds of yes. art opportunities just based on the cost of the expense yes. of providing we have our materials. Own kilns that were donated. Um, we have a couple of kilns. Um, and students go to art a couple times a week. This is Pace Cups. So our attendance is always the highest on our art on our day. Always. Well, you know what? There's I know art like works one side of the brain and that balances out the you know just the rote learning that goes on with other subjects and so I know that's really an integral part of a well-rounded student yes. being able to learn. And our, and our students are really art, artsy. I mean they mm -hmm. enjoy it. They love going to art. They, they're so creative and, and yes. that gives them a great outlet mm -hmm. and a little bit of a break from their other classes. But we also do you know the 
traditional English and math and history, but we love that there. Right. Well, I mean, <laughs> even though it's an alternative school, a non-traditional school, I mean, you, we still need all of those subjects. Oh, we yes. still need the we math, the English, the sciences. We, yeah, we work on, we have a lot of students who do internships that are out in the community working. A lot of our students work. Mm -hmm. And um, so they're out there doing their internships. And it's just, uh, it's an alternative way of doing school. Right. Our kids have a lot of freedom. We can go out and work and get our class done. And we have students who come, most of everyone comes to class, but then they also can do some more home. Nice. So we have, and we have a great superintendent, um, Julie Mills at Community, that believes in Alt Ed and there believes in art. She even came and created pottery with the kids. Wow. So that's I great mean, for the superintendent. Did you guys like that for the superintendent? Did yeah. you know, for that? I mean, yeah. So that's, that's, that's really great. cool that we're lucky and, you know, good high school, very good high school principals and superintendents from our other schools um, because our, we have a recovered dropout rate of about 30%. So that means 30% of our students at one point have dropped out of school. And it's very easy to not want those kids back in because mm -hmm. you know all, you have to count those in your statistics. But our principals are great and they send them and they get the chance. And our um, graduation rate is all, it's a part about 98 to 100%. Wow. We do not have, once they're, well, they're ours, we'll keep them. Well done. That is, that's it's impressive. It's a great place great. if anyone ever wants to come in. We'd love to show you around. Well, that'd be fun. That'd be really fun to see everything in action. Yes. So, Miss Pace, Mrs. Pace, how did how did you get hooked up with Fame Academy? Oh, that's kind of a long story. <laughs> okay, uh, but um, I went to Mr. Davidson. Terry Davidson was the superintendent whenever I started, and I went to him because I was the. Uh, working on the Chisholm Trail Book Festival back in 2009. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to incorporate essays and that kind of thing through the schools. And so I went to see all the superintendents and principals around uh, so that we could get them to participate. Right. So he was talking, we were visiting back and forth and I said I was doing some art. And I had an elementary school the degree with an art uh, concentration and you know he just was asking me questions mm -hmm. and he said you know he said are you interested in a part-time job and I said well not really <laughs> I'm busy, <laughs> to be honest yeah. uh, I'm kind of busy with this book festival thing and, and um, but he said uh, well if, if you would go you know see Elizabeth Dressel over at Fame Academy and I didn't even know Fame Academy existed and we're kind of a quiet little yeah. place. On this was, yeah, I mean, we're on the Chisholm Trail. We're talking. Right there. Yeah, this was. We're even a geo site. A geo is that what they call it? The geo where you can put in. The oh yeah. Uh, no, 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 it's a geo cache. Geo cache. And you can put it in, and people come. It's a little building. She can tell you. We did yeah. a building and painted it. And that's oh, really that's fun. Okay. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. So anyway, I I thought okay, I'll go check it out for two days a week. Maybe I could you know mm -hmm. do something. So I went to see Elizabeth, and I didn't even realize that she, that was her first year to be superintendent. I mean, director, not superintendent. Principal. Yeah, yeah, principal. <laughs> and uh, so we visited back and forth, and I loved her. And I thought, okay, this would be an, uh, an opportunity to get back into teaching because I hadn't been teaching for a while, and I had never taught high school kids. So it was it was going to be you know pretty interesting. So I thought, okay, I can do this two days a week, and I've been there ever since. So, it, so it must have been a pretty good fit. It was a good fit. It was over 10 years. Yeah, and it, and it was rewarding. And it is, the, She's the, amazing. Students, the students are so appreciative of people trying to teach them things that they haven't, you know, known before. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's my story. <laughs> And we have well, students who wait in the front door for her sometimes. Oh. You know, over the past year, she's there, they're like, she's here, and run out to get so. Or I come on a day that I'm not supposed to be there. Oh, we're having art today. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just going to set the room up so we can have it the next day. Oh, that's great. Well, you know, I mean, art is so important. We always incorporate an art project when students come here for a field trip. And it has been kind of surprising how many kiddos are very unsure how to use a pair of scissors or they're not accustomed to mediums beyond a crayon or a marker 
you know, uh, like a, an oil pastel or painting, things like that, you know, those are things that they just don't have a chance to experience in, in an elementary classroom, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then you get all the way to high school, and I mean, they're starved by that time. They're starving for that art. Yes. And exactly. especially in these times that we have. Yeah. Yeah, yes, you know, I've, I've done statistics over the years, and for over, you know, over a span of like eight to ten years, um, we have like 96% of our kids are on free and reduced lunches. 60% mm -hmm. are considered home, and that doesn't mean they're living in the street, they just aren't living with a guardian or a family member. Right. And so, with the statistics we've done a few years ago, the students who attended art at Fame had 25% less chance of being in the juvenile justice system. We have since remedied that because everyone goes to art now. Mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. that is a, a, a that's a very strong statistic for proof that art really does work. Yes. Their GPA is higher when they're in art. Their attendance is better. Um, so one is like saving the world here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> one student at a time. And she is. She's helping the economy. <laughs> <laughs> I live. I, are too <laughs> I just. I. I just. I mean. I love all that. I love it that we have students who are you know, proudly producing and just bringing their art, you know, for the public yeah. to be able to view it. And then they're also, their lives are being changed and, and their their eyes are open to so many opportunities. And I mean, it's just, it's just a, good, a great, a, a great program. I'm just so thrilled to be able to feature Fame Academy today oh, and really, yeah. and talk about, you know, give us, give us, well deserved kudos. I mean, this we is, appreciate you asking. Oh, time. sure, one hundred percent. You guys are always so good to just bring some of the most unique pieces of art whenever we have youth art month. So this is this is really fun. Um, so uh, I, I'll probably have some more questions for you guys, but I'm going to talk to Emma and Lydia here for a few minutes. Um, so you girls are participants in our youth art month. Is, that's correct. Okay, so um, you really bring a, a lot of, you bring ceramics. Do you guys do things besides ceramic or, or mosaics? Oh, uh, yes, we do. Uh, well, later on in the year, we do painting and uh, we got to do the tiny mosaic tiles. Uh -huh. And I know she works on some drawing a little bit. Okay. Well, and tell, her, stuff tell her a little bit about, is it okay if she talks about her plant salt right now? Uh, well, well, yeah, let's let's talk about your let's look at your pieces over here and um, just I the giraffe I think is the cutest thing ever. So what was your, what was your inspiration? What made you think to do this giraffe? She said it had to be an animal face, and when I just kind of put the clay down, I it thought it looked like a giraffe's nose, so I just had to go with it. I there you go. That that's perfect. That's a perfect. I mean, yeah. and you know what? I think you were right. It looks exactly like a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you what do you like about doing the ceramics? The ceramics, well, honestly, I like that you can just mold nothing into something. Like, there's so many options. Like, even if you mess it up, walk back up and try again. Like, there's no stopping it. You can right. do pretty much anything you want. Oh, wow. I bet Miss Pace is loving hearing you say <laughs> those words. <laughs> I, I mean, that. that's, a, that's a great, whoops. <laughs> How technical is she there for a minute? Uh, there we go. We're getting kind of dark over here now, it looks like. Um, so, uh, um, th now this piece, this looks like maybe it hasn't been, is it, is it, uh, like already gone through the, uh, what are the oven things called again? The kiln. 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 Yeah, yeah. kiln. Has it gone through all that process? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a, just a terracotta pot. We have a plant club where we propagate plants and grow plants from seeds. So we teamed up with Ms. Pace to do something with the art program that could incorporate the two. So all the kids made these pots and then we've got a bunch of pothos just like this that all the kids can have and eventually they'll get to take the pots home once all the judging is over. Oh, okay. And awesome. so tell me who is the teacher of the plant club? That would be me. Okay, well talk to <laughs> us about your, your plant club a little bit. She I mean, started it. Uh, I mean, so 
Explain what propagate means. There might be some viewers who aren't 100% sure. So propagate just means that you can take any plant that you find on the street and just cut a piece of it and make a whole other one. It's creating new life from something that could be dying. Wow. It's just how, do you, of, how do you know so much about plants? Oh, my mom and my grandpa. My grandpa always stressed knowing how to take care of yourself and grow your own food. Okay, awesome. That's really cool. So do you have a garden? Are you? Uh, I have a greenhouse, but not oh. really an outdoor garden. Uh -huh. yeah. do, do you raise um, like fruits or vegetables or things like that? Well, right now we've got strawberries going outside uh -huh. and then we have some tomatoes going too. And then this year, my mom is really into cut flowers. So right. she's got some sweet peas and pansies and just the cute little flowers you put in with your shrubs. She's wanting to sell some of those uh -huh. this year. You, I feel like you are very knowledgeable. Like next week, I was going to do a trail talk about like when to plant your vegetable garden and what kind of plants I'm thinking. I think I've got a, Thank you, very, a someone who's got a lot of information you can she could share with me about that. Wow, that is that is awesome. So you just thought, why don't I just take my love for plants to school? Well, uh, it was kind of just we had all the beds and we have all the stuff there to already do a program like an ag program almost mm -hmm. and so I kind of just worked with what we already had and there were plenty of kids willing to join the club so it was pretty easy to start out. So is this something that they that you guys do um like it's extracurricular it's not for a grade? Not, I mean I think they can get participation for yeah, it. Yeah we but... do some life skills things and mm -hmm. service learning and stuff mm -hmm. and so they, they can get a little credit for that. Right. But, but as far as that, it's just if they're willing to do it and willing to learn. And trying to keep them alive. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's, a, the, that's the tricky part. Yeah, that, that, that would be, nice that'd be the case for yeah. me. For sure. <laughs> um, that, you know, I, I'm just loving this because I think that um, people are getting to see a, a side of a, an alternative high school that they probably didn't really think existed you know I mean a plant yes. a club an extra club an extra fun activity that you know nobody's you might get some participation but it's really just an extra thing to do with other with your classmates your schoolmates mm -hmm. and I you know there's camaraderie there's community yes. there and all of those things and, and students teaching other students and sharing what you know and learn and and they do it really well in Lydia's class they go and they pay a lot of attention because we have an indoor greenhouse that she's kind of working with it's still kind of cold out there and then an outdoor one and mm -hmm. right now it's really cold oh yeah everywhere yeah so um is that like a direction you see yourself going in the future is like something to do with that well, or yeah, horticulture I, or something like that? I've thought about taking the uh, Red River Technology Center horticulture class, but uh -huh. it's an art more, so I'd have to be able to commute back and forth oh. and live up there. So I'm kind of still making up my mind. But yeah, well, that's that's kind of. And Lydia goes to Botech now. Yes, I do. I'm in the business administrative program. Oh, good for you. You're a very busy young woman. <laughs> My goodness. And her teacher, Miss Weiss, let her leave early today. Yes. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> well, that was awfully nice. Hopefully she's watching or she's going to go back and watch. <laughs> so um, so you guys sat, uh, sat down. Miss Pace, did you go to the plant club and help them with their pots? I think they or? came to you. They did. I mean, well, actually, Lydia told me about it. And, and uh, I said, uh, uh, I had all this terra. This is uh, clay that we've had for a number of years, and I haven't used it because it's a low fire clay, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and I only had one bag of it, so I didn't have enough for everybody to have it. You know, a lot of pieces made from it. Right. So whenever she mentioned that uh, she was doing this plant club, I thought, well, you know, what if we made some little pots that you could use to for the kids to uh, transplant stuff and mm -hmm. all of that, and so. Uh, uh, we got busy and they made plant to uh, the the little uh, pot the pot and, and then the trays and then, the tray. and then they decorated them and, and well, so you can see how Lydia de decorated hers 
Right, I, um, I, Emma did too, and I, I see you've got the draining the drain drain hole, hole in the bottom. And so. Lydia and I talked about what kind of plant she was going to uh, use for the kids because we talked about African violet, and mm -hmm. I said, okay, that's going to be a different kind of pot. So we need to decide whether it's going to be something like this where you need a drain hole that uh, uh, you don't need to have it like you're going to water it from the bottom, that kind of thing. So we had a really good discussion, and she even told me what her bedroom looks like. Well, she's got this plant. She said, how, how old is it? It's two years old this year, and it is, oh, I'd say 15, 20 feet long. It wraps up my whole ceiling. <laughs> yeah. <years>. Wow. <laughs> that is isn't happy about it, but I think he's just come to it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. So you had plenty of uh, so she all the plants that we have, she propagated. She propagated. Well, the students, you kind of helped. Yeah, they all propagated, and they all got to pick their own, and most of them named their own as well. So you guys talk to your plants and all of those things. So that's, that is, that is an awesome, I, I just love all of that so much. Um, so, uh, Emma, we're gonna uh, talk to you for a minute now. Um, so, well, Libby, how long have you been going to Spain? Uh, just this year, so I started in August. Okay, and what what grade level or oh, what? Oh, I'm you, a senior. You're a senior, right? Sure. Anyway, so yes, oh. I told her she could come back next year. You, <laughs> yeah, you have some very natural leadership skills, and I see you. Uh, Really being able to, you know, stepping out and doing. Oh, she had a amazing lesson things. plan, talked in the classroom, brought them outside, had all the supplies. Yeah, yeah. natural it's teacher. Natural teacher, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Emma, so how long have you been attending Bank? Just this year. Just this year, also. Mm -hmm. And what grade level are you? I'm a sophomore. A sophomore. So you're going there for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so tell me about like art, what does is, what is Miss Pace's art class mean for you? And I might need you to speak up just a little bit so the microphone can't hit you. Um, I really like art. Um, I really enjoy the class. <laughs> um, I really enjoy the play, the pottery, because it just gives you a little freedom to do whatever you want with it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Had you ever done anything with clay or yeah. anything like that uh, before? Me and my sister just do the air dry clay and make little stuff out of that at home. Okay, so um, is this like at the next level as far as yeah. difficulty or working yeah. with it? <laughs> I have never used um, like the actual kiln and stuff before. Mm -hmm. And what about the glazes? I thought that was really cool. I had never used those either. Just painted them. Yeah, yeah. After they dry, just mm -hmm. apply them. Yeah. Um, so what what is your favorite thing about art class? Um I'm not sure. Um I'm really liking the drawing that we just started. That's actually one that we did today. Okay, so um Bailey will zoom in on this. Why don't you tell tell us what what you're working on here. Oh, this is nice shading and all that. Yeah, um, so we started to learn how to shade and stuff mm -hmm. and use about different pencils and stuff. So today we did a sphere and Miss Pace helped me on that. <laughs> okay, so um, you have, are these like some guide yeah. lines on there? Kind of talk, mm -hmm. describe what we're looking at here. Um, so the reference picture was a sphere on a table with a shadow. So here we have um, the highlight and then the shadow mm -hmm. and the highlight. <laughs> oh, okay. I see you've got like, like this is vocabulary. Yeah. Legos with labeling the labeling. shadows and light. Okay. All right. And, but, and so you guys aren't just learning how to do something you're learning uh the the proper um art Termin terminology <laughs> yeah, thank you bailey <laughs> my off-camera <laughs> helper here um yes you're learning all teaching them all of the proper terminology and elements of art and all of those things yeah. and yes because if you learn the basics then you can just do anything after that it's mm -hmm. kind of like with that's how I, I do my teaching with with whether it's pottery or mosaics or whatever I always start with basics because I get a new group every year very rarely do I have 
kids that I have for longer than two or three years. Mm -hmm. And so I try to do something different every year, but I mean, we, but still the same. I mean, we still do pottery, but each of them get to do different, uh, we have different projects every year. Did we year. do garden gnomes last year? Yeah, we did, or one year, one year. I don't, the years have just kind of all well, mixed up together. Right. But yeah. yeah, we did garden gnomes. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and most of the, all the time, I try to, to do a box because that's a very elementary kind of mm -hmm. uh, thing that has a lot of skill involved. And um, uh, so, but they get to choose what they want to do. I'll say, okay, like Lydia, I said, I, we, we're going to do a face on a mug. Mm -hmm. So they get to choose what kind of face. Lydia even put a little snail inside hers, mm -hmm. which is very inventive. Uh, just, and with the, this was supposed to be an animal mask. Right. So that's what that is. Uh, yeah, I see. Emma, yeah, that's, Emma's, Emma said that was yeah, her that, favorite piece. That is heavy. Mm -hmm. I don't think I realized how heavy, but yeah, I looked at her little frog. Little and then, cheap frog. And so in her box, is different than some of the other boxes. It's not a, a traditional square box. It no, was a pinch pot not. box and it looks like a little house. It looks like a um, a house where like that Bilbo Baggins. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> living. I think probably. Um, that's yeah, right. it looks like a little hobbit house. Are you familiar with those? Maybe like a fairy house. Oh, fairy. Well, that's it's close. Fairies are yeah. We're in the same kind of hobbits. Yeah. Hobbit. So, and that's and real. this Emma did this basket, and the, to this is a very difficult skill mm -hmm. to get this to uh, to stay and to get it this thin, and have it to be uh, attached and not break. At the, at the first drying stage. Yeah, I tried to make a mug and I had a kind of a thin handle and it, it snapped off. Mm -hmm. It was very disappointing. Um, but man, and these are, these are just very heavy, substantial pieces, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, that is beautiful. That is so smooth, Emma. Mm -hmm. How did you make that so smooth? That was actually the first thing that I learned. Yeah. Really learned how to make it smooth like that. And then you put the kind of the basket basket weave. weave on there. Wow. Now, are these some other drawings that you've done? Um, that's some Zentangle that we started. Say that a little bit louder. Zentangle. <laughs> Zentangle. Zentangle. Yeah. Zentangle. Uh -huh. Those are kind of like warm up things to do uh, before we get started with the regular, just kind of getting everybody ready, you know, moving their hands and getting mm -hmm. their brains kind of situated towards uh, the right side so that they can, uh, be a little more receptive to the sphere and right. the other things that we're that we're teaching. So. Right. So, um, like, how many hours a day do you teach? Uh, actually, pretty much all day. Well, from nine o'clock till two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, more or less. Yeah. That's about that's the school day, mm -hmm. I guess. So well, they they stay they're little they get there about eight. 15. They try to get down early. Mm -hmm. They come down. She gets there early, so some of them come down about eight thirty, quarter mm -hmm. nine, and then some try and stay a little later. And so you, like, you guys can stay in there that whole day? You can stay in art the whole they day? They have classes. Or not? No, they, they have, have other classes. classes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they, so, like, they, different classes come at different times. Yeah. So in the, the regular, uh, the, like, they're about an hour and a half long. Okay. Each. So okay. they're a little bit longer than, a, than in the traditional school. Uh, yes, that's what setting. I was kind of thinking. I thought, how do you, how do you get that much done in 50 minutes? Yeah, you, you know, <laughs> there's no way. Yeah. And then she'll so, pull, pull them out of class sometimes. Sometimes, so yeah. So we have right. two. I have two classes in the morning and one in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Now I have, uh, because we started uh, mosaics in January. Well, actually we started a little bit in December, but we started in January. And some of the kids did really fast work. Other kids are a little slower. Mm -hmm. And um, so Emma, I don't know if you want to show Emma's oh, yes, uh, thing at this time. So well, and then the snow days, I think the snow days kind of we, hurt our mosaics because we've been out so yeah, much. Yeah, we were out snow. so much. So I, the thing I like about this, I love it that you brought this, is that we see that it starts on a board. Mm -hmm. This is just a piece of wood. It's, well, it's a birch plywood. Okay. So it's a little bit more specialized than just plain old wood. I mean, it's not like plywood. Yeah. This is, uh, uh, and this was one of those things that went up really, really expensive. Like it's doubled in price since we oh. did it last oh, year. But luckily I had some left over yeah. from last year and we hadn't had to buy it yet this year. But uh, yeah, we start off with the board and we seal the board okay. because we don't want it to warp mm -hmm. because when you put grout on it, that has a lot of water in it and it uh, will, 
you know, get into the board and make it work. But uh, so we seal it and then the, the kids choose their design and then they transfer the design. Uh, they put graphite on the back of their picture and then they trace it this on to their board. Oh, so then they have something to follow. Too. I mean, we have yes. raw. And yeah, some, some have, look, like, see, uh, well, we can't see it now, but <laughs> there are some kids that uh, just like the initials over there. Oh, that, right. that young right, man yeah. just, he just did uh, his own. Um, oh, and o Olivia, yes, that one was a free hand. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then this, uh, and the sun, the sun right oh, there okay. next to you yeah. was a free hand drawing. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. So Which this, yeah, the one that, uh, and it may just be your colors, but this, I like the space spaces mm -hmm. in between because you kind of have to really look at it mm -hmm. to see the picture. It's like a, uh, uh, like a pointillism almost, you know, yes. or. And you know, you can see this, the people from in your audience can probably see the design better. Probably. Than we can, mm -hmm. because whenever, uh, especially this one here that, that the, is the OSU one. Mm -hmm. When you look at this real close, you don't, you can't really see the OSU, but whenever you look at it uh, through the camera. Right, but you no, know, Bailey it. saw it right off. Yeah, but <laughs> she's an OSU fan. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's, grad. Grad. Nice she's an OSU grad. <laughs> okay, yes. I give her full credit for that. Um, okay, so uh, now is this a, um, so this was like a, a picture that you chose. Yeah. And, and it was already had these colors and everything on it. Mm -hmm. And then you put the graphite on the back mm -hmm. and then traced it onto your board, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so then, then how do you, um, do you break these little pieces? What are, what is this? This is tiles. Little tiles? Yeah, we just break them and we try to find them where it matches best. <laughs> uh -huh. And little nippers. Uh -huh. yeah. And we have a whole lot of colors. Uh -huh. So they go first and they, they choose their palette, just like you would whenever you're painting. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a, a box that they, they, they put their colors in. Then they go back and they uh, start uh, cutting them. And uh, we have to be very careful because there's a lot of safety because those little tiles will just fly right. everywhere. So uh -huh. they have to be real careful and they have to cover them when they're cutting. And then, uh, then they glue, start gluing them on and they are watching, they're looking at their picture as they do mm -hmm. this so that they get the uh, colors right and the design so that, that you can come through. So after they get all of this done, then we put the grout on. And that's uh, probably the least favorite thing I ever do at school. Oh, um, because it's like grout. It's like they it is. It. Yeah. It is everywhere. It is. It's my, yeah. And you have to wear gloves. Some of them love it. Some of them are like. Yeah. Yeah, and and I, I had one girl that just she she started gagging. <laughs> 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 she said, "I can't do this. I can't." Do this. <laughs> okay, don't sit down. Go in with your hand. I mean, I've only grouted like laying tile on a floor. Well, it's exactly the, it's the same, except you know I've got to mix it up in a little bucket, and then we slap it on, and then we have to. Move, move it around and then we have to scrape it off and then you have to keep cleaning Is there a it. small tool or they just use their hands? Use the hand and then I do have a scraper kind of thing that, mm -hmm. that, that goes down in it. Um, then uh, then they, they will paint. Now this with these, some, some of the boards that I have, is, that's MDF board. I can, we can put tiles. They're, they're wide enough to put those. See, those are the on tiles the that are on the edge. Yeah, those yeah. are the tiles. That's how, they, how the big edges. they are. Uh -huh and that they have to cut small to fit their picture. Uh, but the, the smaller boards will just paint. Okay. So after we grout, we clean it all up again and then we paint the sides and then I put a sealer on it. Okay, so this is, this is me just like, um, will you use just one color of grout? Or would you, can you use more than one color of grout when you do it? You can only use one color. But I, I, you may use more, I, I don't know, uh -huh. but uh, that would be really difficult to, to keep it a, uniform and, and to keep, you know, have little bits and pieces of colors to put on there and, and that it would stay in one area. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, yeah. grout is one of those things that kind of likes to go everywhere. Yeah. Didn't you have someone use like a darker grout? Like we a have, black grout? You can change the color. So like- so, Cause I, that's what I was thinking is, you know, as dark as this is on here, 
would that stay that dark or would there be a lighter grout in, you know, holding those together? Uh -huh. I don't know. I mean, she was able to scrunch those together. Yeah. A lot, but well, I don't know. What I'm we'll just do curious we, now. See, if we used a darker grout, then the value of the, uh, the hill or the, whatever that mm -hmm. is, uh, it's a cypress wouldn't tree. show, okay, cypress yeah. tree, it wouldn't show up. So we have to use a lighter grout so that that shows up. Right. And right. hopefully it's, it, the other pieces that I see with the white, mm -hmm. it's not going to show. I try not to use white, white brown. Mm -hmm. I like to use something that's a little bit ivory or on that side of. Is, uh, is there a special grade of grout that you use for this that's different from what you use? In it has. Any, I don't. Whatever. I'm not sure what you use in, when you're doing uh, tiles. Whatever they have, it has to be. It has to be sanded. It has to be sanded. Okay. Grout. Yeah. Yeah. And it has to have. There's like. Uh, it can't, it, there's a thing and I, it, that if it'll crack, if it's, if the spaces are wider than a quarter of an inch. Oh, right. So you have to get that yeah. grade where it's like an eighth to a quarter of an inch mm -hmm. that it won't crack. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Interesting. So I go every, very every, interesting. And Lena goes and buys all the supplies. She drives to Oklahoma City for some and others and, you know, and, Luckily, we have the Oklahoma Art Council to pay for it all. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. right. Yeah, the Oklahoma, Oklahoma Art Council, Council, they're so good. They support so many of the things that we do here. Oh, and yes. you got, I, I mean, they really are far reaching as you know. As, yes. And you know, Elizabeth has, the and she has to write grants for this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not just, you know, you don't go and ask for it and yeah. give it to you. Yeah. You have to write, she has to write two grants and then, well, and then the grant right. for the supply. Uh, Thing too. And so you do a final report. So we always send pictures. And, oh, and, yes. and this yeah. is part of our culminating activity because we have to have this. Mm -hmm. And uh, we and have, this is great that we are we've been partnered with the Chisholm Trail Heritage Center. I think about ten years now. Don't you think? Oh, at least yeah. at least that we've been um, bringing our art here. Our art here. And it's because we awesome. always have our students who come to the artist reception, mm -hmm. and then they you know they sometimes we have a field trip that we bring them here. Actually, when the first pandemic, you know, when it first started, that March 13th was the last day of school in 2020. That day, March 13th, we had our field trip here. And that was the last day we saw uh -huh. our students in school, yeah. you know, because then we canceled school. Right, right. And so that's always such a special memory to me that we were here, that you were here. And that's that was, awesome. That that's was. a really cool, that's a very cool memory. Well, you know what? I can't wait, Emma, to see the finished product of this. I think that is just going to be beautiful. Are you just so excited? Yeah. How, how many hours do you think you'll spend tiling that? <laughs> That's what I've, I'm noticing the cityscape yeah. down here. That's going to be a tricky one. But, but we have we have lots of little, we, we save all the little pieces the little that, and, and so she, we've got uh, tens of like we've got four large pie tins that mm -hmm. I we just have so she can really if once those those little ones she won't have to cut those so that yeah. should go back mm -hmm. and then some, some of them use jewelry and stuff too well and marbles I found some marbles around here yeah we have uh, glass beads and we have buttons and we have all kinds of things they can use you can put whatever yeah. you want to on those pieces yeah. that's, that's and so we cool. had uh, just the side thing we had we used uh, the tools that we use you mentioned that uh Mike Nelson donated some uh, dental tools that we can use. <laughs> that is such a smart idea. Yeah, they've got really fine little things, and yeah. I guess it's what they use to clean your teeth with and that kind of stuff. And I'm so sure they, they washed them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and it doesn't matter because we get glue all over. Right. Them. Yeah. We don't. Hopefully, we're not sticking them in our mouth. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, I've got a little <laughs> black beard. <laughs> <laughs> so we can move the tiles around a little, those little tiny ones, especially oh. we need tweezers and we need oh. those little those little things to move it around. Wow, oh, that's I mean that you can so see why fun. students love art, yes. especially if you yes. have a lot going on, and I don't know about you guys, but the world, everything has a lot going on right now. And to be able to walk into a classroom and sit in a class, she plays like calm music mm. and um, to sit and be able to really think and concentrate for an entire hour on something that's not worldly, right? Right. Not out there. Yeah. What, what would you say your favorite thing about art class is, Lydia? Well, I, first off, that you can see the goats from the window. <laughs> <laughs> we have three goats that are pets. 
Oh, that's fun. And our yeah. window faces the south. Uh huh. And uh, and that's where the goats that's are. That's where the goats are. Are they Zero. inspiration? Oh, definitely. <laughs> we have some goats. It's Ricky, Delilah, and then their childhood name. Oh, okay. That's so cute. <laughs> so besides the goats, besides <laughs> the goats, I would say my favorite thing so far has been the uh, painting on the uh, ceramics. Because some of the glaze doesn't look like you think it was. Like one of them will be a dark brown, muddy color, and it'll turn into this pretty nice red pink with swirls in it. Like there's no real telling what you're gonna get. Oh, from it. yeah. It's the surprise. Well, oh, that's wow. that's cool. That's very cool. So now, Miss Pace, do you know what they're gonna come out like? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I have I have little samples of things that uh -huh. I have done uh -huh. and uh, uh, but you know I what I do with my little sample is like this and it's it's all together different right than, than right, what yeah. it looks like here and it depends on how uh, how many coats they put on mm -hmm. as to how dark it is mm -hmm. and uh, but yeah that's that's the most amazing things whenever it's that, that chemistry and I keep telling I mean there are there are degrees in just glazing and fine arts degrees and, and oh. so uh, uh, it, the, the chemistry involved is is mind-boggling mm -hmm. but uh yeah and some of the things and some of the things that people will come and look at all the different texture looking glazes that there are it's just it's amazing what uh what comes out whenever you put fire to it. right so i do you know um the guy that has missing bristle josh in marlowe i've heard of him but i don't know so him. he came on on trail talk one day and he makes things that look like leather uh -huh. like he makes mugs that look like leather he uses leather tools and stamps the clay with the leather and puts the stitches and I, he he has these big platters that looks like i mean it's so is it the glaze that he uses that makes it look like leather it's partly that it's partly the stamping also because he creates like what a saddle would look like or you know, uh, like a, you know, a, uh, like a knife sheath, things like that, that have those flowers and all those details. And then, and then of course the glazing too. Yeah. But I, I mean, well, it, it's, it's, it's just putting, impressive what yeah. people can do. The texture, you can, you can add texture by putting, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's kind of a stamp that you, uh, some of our kids have a, uh, I think uh, one of them has a, like a wood grain, you oh, can do a wood uh -huh. grain, and you can do yeah. a brick and looking thing. Like these turtles right here. Yes. Are stamps. Uh -huh. So those I'm, are stamps. I'm thinking, but you just like get a hammer, hammer it in there a little bit, or you just push it, push it, push it. just push yeah. it because it's soft enough. And yeah. you have to push it pretty firmly. Yeah. This is the thing around the edges is a is, is on a roll. Oh, see the little diamonds. Oh, I did now. I hadn't even seen that. Oh, so you just like go like that. Yeah. It's in the, the that was hard to. Yeah. Like keep that kind of centered. Yeah. And the stamps are made from a material that is like plaster of Paris. So it doesn't stick to the clay. Oh, yeah. That would be a big deal too, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like when you stamp a cookie and you pull it back and all the cookie dough is stuck yeah. inside. Yeah. That's a frustrating. <laughs> I mean, I just had a flashback. <laughs> well, um, Lydia and Emma, I am just so excited to um, see what the future holds for you guys. I mean, I, I just see you guys taking a situation where you um, possibly could just throw your hands up and say, the school's not working out for me, but you found Fame Academy and you seem to be flourishing there. And thank you, Elizabeth, for making the, the, the whole atmosphere of Fame a place where young people come and flourish. Well, and they make fame what it is. We, well, so, we have the best students in Stevens County, I feel like. I, I, I mean, mean like, I can't and with, so with someone like Elizabeth there speaking all of those words of truth into young yeah. people every day, I mean, that, that's so much. That is that is awesome. And wow, Miss Pace, you're, you're like putting, like investing your talents into these young people. and. You know, maybe it's just going to be fun, hobby, outlet, you know, kind of things. But you're, 
you're just you're really helping invest in their lives and it's that's just it's such a beautiful picture here don't you think Bailey I mean this is just this is fantastic so listen you guys and I want to say thank you to you but also to the Chisholm Crow Heritage Center because you have a art month and you let us bring all of our art you don't say we only want the best or we're going to pick which comes you let all of our students have a voice and that's important yes. we have for years well, thank you. We are we are glad to do it. And um, please do not let Youth Art Month get away without coming here to see and experience some of this. I think you'll be super impressed by the talents these kids have. And actually, Saturday from one to four, this coming Saturday, what is that? March the March 5th. the fifth, one to four. You can come into the Heritage Center for free and come and see the art. Um, there will be light refreshments. You can meet some of the artists. I mean, it's like a real reception thing. So please come by and encourage these young people. And um, thank you for watching today. Thanks again for coming. Thank you. Everybody, now when we sign off, we always say happy trails together. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so um, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Happy, happy trails. trails.